Next, let us talk about media. Social media with mainstream media. A big example of how social media made an impact with the mainstream media. ABS, CBN. Last May 2020, ABS CBN was ordered to stop its broadcast both on free television and radio. And a few months later, their franchise was denied by the current Congress of the Philippines. Imagine that. The Philippines largest network in the Philippines ABS-CBN with the majority viewership a powerful institution was shut down now if you were ABS-CBN you have no franchise how will you survive? Right? If I were ABS-CBN at that time, I don't know what to do. But here I am. I'm no businessman. And I'm sure ABS-CBN is being run by clever businessmen. And one of the idea they have, you know, thought about to save their company they have invested much on social media. TFC Online. I want TFC. Facebook. YouTube. Kumo. Those are the social media platforms that they have invested. Now they are streaming 24-7 through their Capamilia online channel in Facebook and YouTube. We never had that before, right? They have been producing a lot of shows on Kumo. One example, Pinoy Big Brother. Imagine record-breaking 100,000 plus have auditioned for PBB through Kumo. Their very own social media platform, the online movie and TV program streaming site, I want. It has the most subscribers in the Philippines in terms of streaming platform that is based in the Philippines. GMA doesn't have that. I'm not sure if they have it. But ABS-CBN has I1 TV and is very much strong in terms of content and subscription. I would firmly believe without social media, ABS-CBN would not survive without the franchise. They would have totally shut down. Am I right? What do you think?